What's up everybody, this is Leon and today we're working on cable management. I got my HD audio header here before we can manage any cables. We gotta put in the header, so I got my audio header here. I'm gonna put that in USB 1. Um, we're getting pretty close to 100 subscribers here, so I just want to thank you all for doing that. We got our USB header here. That's to the uh, USB for the input output. We're going to plug that into USB 2. And we also have our card readers, and we're going to plug that into the to the other USB header on the motherboard. Like I said, we're coming close to 100 subscribers, so um, we may have 100 by the time this video comes out. And for all you who have subscribed, I, would, I just want to thank you and keep on watching my videos. Make sure you like like them. That helps out a lot. We got our uh, our headers for the motherboard. We get the power going to the right places to our LEDs and whatnot. And a very important header on in that group was the reset switch header if you don't have that guy in right you're gonna have problems actually if you don't put any if you put any of those in improperly you're gonna have some issues um, and I got fat fingers so I have trouble I had trouble seeing I didn't have my headlight put my big head in the way of the light and couldn't see anything so yeah look at that look at that look at that nugget Look at, look at it. I had just cut my hair and my girls hated it. <laughs> my wife and my daughters were like, Daddy, who are you? So, you gotta let it grow out. It's, it's, it's grown out now, though, so they're all happy. But, yeah, it's, it's difficult for me and my fat fingers putting those headers in. But, um, yeah, like I was saying before, if you guys could like and and hit that notification bell. Um, make sure you like the videos. That's that's kind of important. I think YouTube's changed their logarithm so that um, likes really matter. So if you see it, like it. If you like it, subscribe. Or if you don't like it, you cannot like it. But please always leave me a comment and let me know why you like it or why you don't like it. Or comment with any questions you might have. I. I'm happy to answer them as you can see I answer as many comments as possible put the USB 3 in there for the top panel it's a top panel on this case not a front panel so the, the top panel USB 3 in there so that the, the sand disk cards and and the, all those uh, USB ports can work on on there and the next thing to do is to boot this thing up and see what's going on and I did that and once again that's that reset switch header see that arrow there on the right you gotta make sure that arrow is on the positive side I thought I had the positive side on the positive side but I didn't and that arrow was turned backwards so double check that or you'll have issues like I said before your computer won't boot okay and we'll keep moving on keep on pushing That's part of the fun of it though, right? When things don't work out like you want them to. Reset switch headers, turn backwards and whatnot. That's why I love it. But we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through all of this so that you don't have to watch me struggle with the headers again. The next thing we're gonna do is uh we're gonna push all these wires through this top port and pull them up under through the bottom um, if you'll notice that we had to move the SSD over to the right to the right there as you can see originally we had it right behind the motherboard but that didn't quite work out for us yeah <laughs> like I said the, the, str the struggle is real sometimes you gotta be able to call an audible in the middle of your build sometimes and, and you got to make changes and, and just do what you got to do to get this thing going like you want it to um, like I said it's 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 definitely rewarding in the end I built this PC for a friend of mine and and to this very day he is loving it 
he, uh, <laughs> Mr. Kenneth, you, you saw him in some of the previous videos, or you, at least you heard him in the previous videos, it's his computer. Um, I must confess, after I finished building it, I kind of wanted to keep it for myself, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll save, I'll, I'll build myself one in the future, and we'll record that. But for right now, next time, um, for next for the next video we're going to do, I'm actually going to be changing my uh, HP box over to a Dell box. More on that a little bit later. Right now, I'm about to zip tie everything really tight. About to get it tight, get it right. Clip everything up and make sure it's doing what I need it to do. Yes, sir, Bob. But back to the HP box. I was having some issues with my HP box. It wasn't just the F1 post that that was expected, but it kept doing other things like uh, the Ethernet port was was just going out every now and then. Like I thought it was the internet in the house, but everyone else in my house would have internet, and my computer would just be dead, no internet connection. So I did some things and and you'll see it in the video and uh but i'll be switching the box over to the uh to a dell box to a optiplex box so look out for that video that's coming real soon it's coming up next actually um let me know well in that video i'm gonna do everything kind of an all-in-one it's gonna be a pretty long video but let me know if you like this format me breaking up the videos like this into pieces um, over time or if you'd rather me put them all in one video leave that in the comments for me all right so right now we're about to set this box up to show you the LED display yeah turn that bad boy around and get ready to push that button power it up to show you the LEDs it's gonna be real pretty I like how all the it's got 13 settings. It's, I like how all the settings are. You can choose one color or many colors. But you'll see. Like I said, that was another thing that made me want to keep it for myself. I was like, ooh, these, this looks nice. This looks really nice. But it makes me happy knowing that Mr. Kenneth is enjoying his computer. So right now, we're going to turn the lights out on you so that you can see what this display looks like in the dark. And we'll toggle through the settings as well for that. It's looking good. So what we'll do is, like I said, look out for that video for me transferring the HP box to the Dell box. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Please leave comments and subscribe. I love answering questions ring that notification bell to be alerted as to new videos check out my red bubble in the in the description below and may the lord bless you and keep you until the next time peace out